A beautiful morning to you and welcome to the newspaper review for today. I am Ayo bringing you the newspaper review. Now let's see the headlines. 60,000 Naira minimum wage proposed by Tinumbu government to I can't fly. Now saying it, the state governors are saying this. That the 60,000 Naira that has been proposed by the president Bola Ahmed Tinumbu cannot fly. So very quickly, let's look at some of the highlights of the story before we dive into our review. So according to them, they said the, the all the 36 states governors of the federation are not going, are not aligning with the 60,000 era that has been proposed by the federal government. It was the um the director of media and public affairs of the Nigerian Governors Forum, Ajia Salima Saliu, who said this last week Friday. And you can see that this is trickle to the conversation that the federal government is having currently with NLC, which we're not even a conversation. So according to the federal government now, they asked NLC to pend the strike for five days, so that, for, sorry, for seven days, so they could conclude on a reasonable amount. Mm. And according to them, the reasonable amount is 62,000 Naira. Mm. Now, NLC is now saying, no, we can't take 62,000. I mean, what is 2,000 Naira on this, mm. on this minimum wage that we are talking about? So NLC is now saying, no, we can't take the 62,000 Naira the federal government is saying. We want 205 thousand naira so here is the conversation and i want us to dive into it as always i have my co-analyst with me to anchor this session with you you are welcome to the show as always thank you very much so let's dive into this conversation okay so the federal the state government now they have concluded that the the 60,000 naira 62,000 naira let's help them the 62,000 naira that the federal government is concluding on is now a chicken you know you cannot compare chicken and eagle together mm. eagles can fly mm. the 500 and 494,000 naira before was flying but now this 60,000 naira now is a chicken that cannot fly according to them so they are saying that they can't afford to pay that money so i want to hear your thoughts on this story the governors are saying that they cannot afford to pay the sum of uh, 62,000 naira. naira. Wonderful. Uh, <laughs> you know, same governors, we have uh, some of them, about a good number of them, you know, the, the, the official, the official car, the current official car they are using is worth 300 million. Wow. The latest lexus ls 600 what 300 million that is what most of them are using now amount car hmm. now they are saying that in this economy which they are aware of which is the reason why there is hardship allowance you know in the midst of the allowances they are they are, they are taking hmm. they are saying that sixty two thousand is what or that, that, that they can't even you see, the annoying, the annoying part for me is that what is 2,000 or 60,000? That took them seven days meeting. I mean, 2,000 naira. Is it for bank charges? Now, 2,000 naira for, 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 for the people that are doing the work, generating revenue for the country. But the, the, the lawmaker's salary increment, people that were, that, 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 that were already earning well were increased by 100%. 300. Is it 300%? Sorry. These are people that were earning well already, earning in millions. And you're saying, I don't know who they are deceiving. I don't know who they are deceiving. But now, can we balance the equation? Okay. Let if 62,000 now, they are saying it to be too much. Let the, 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 the all the government officials, beginning from the top, begin to collect 62,000. Now, let if, if we can be very, very sincere... Let the governors to earn 60,000. What are they doing? All right. It's not as if they, they, they are using their strengths to do anything, or maybe they go to farm for the nation or for the states. There are people that go to do. Now, it, it, I, I don't know. It's just a, an art of wickedness because they know that they know the cost of rice. Mm -hmm. No governor in Nigeria will not be able to at least know how much rice is sold in Nigeria today. Can 62,000 buy a bag of rice? Mm -hmm. So why are they saying that it's, 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 it's even too big? But in Edo State, the governor is paying 
even before why the government was still uh uh you know having meetings and procrastination governor of the, the Edo state was already paying seventy thousand as minimum wage we saw that in news if this money is not there we we'll, our leaders are not considering the, the interest of the people that's all i can say you see my own concern is that what is two thousand euro on the sixty thousand euro after 70 day, seven after days seven meeting. days meeting i mean and it is really it is really heartbreaking for me that nlc could just allow themselves to be brainwashed you know they intentionally allow them to to paint that meeting so that all of the stakeholders that could have further be a voice to them they would have been brainwashed you know they would have settled all of these people now nlc cannot even call for any other meeting now. on on that on that regard well the nlc should be by now should be should have known the kind of leadership we have in nigeria nlc is just not a newly established body in nigeria they know the system they know these people so them for them to have called off the strike that this meeting could have still be on why the strike was on i mean the why the strike was on the the, the federal government could have still reached into conclusion now a strike that kicked off in a day and we have we had good number of sectors that joined them it means the people were waiting for that strike all right so for them to have listened it it, it is it, they, they can now see it that they, 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 they they've been played and I, I it will be very difficult for them to to reverse the situation yeah exactly now you know um the federal government gave the minister for finance a two, two 48 hours ultimatum to reach a conclusion on the minimum wage he came out with 105 and on the long run we discovered that the spokesperson for the government was saying that person of bayon onoga was saying that no this is not entirely correct this is not coming from the minister of finance now they debunk that nigerians concluded that there's confusion even amongst the people that are even talking about the minimum wage they continued like that and i was expecting that there's still going to be a reasonable amount I mean, for for I I, I would draw, I would say it again that NLC allow themselves to be brainwashed. I mean, what is two thousand naira on sixty thousand naira? Mm. And for these state governors, now let's come back to these state governors that are saying sixty thousand naira proposed by the federal government is too high; it cannot fly. It is not enough. It is not even enough. Talk more of flying. I mean, we are always talking about uh, uh, um, the, we are always co having this comparison of the amounts they used to earn, the, uh, of the amounts the minimum wage used to be in 2019 compared to now, 30,000 naira. But the economic situation of things is not as difficult as it is now. Yes. 60,000 naira now cannot even buy a bag of rice. It cannot, if, if you are to be spending 1,000 naira, 1,500 naira every day, 60,000 naira in, is not enough to foot your bills. So if these people are saying 60,000 or let's say let's help them to conclude on the 62,000 naira that they are currently talking about if they say 62,000 naira is not is not high enough according to some of the things that they said they said the the government the state governments will have to resolve to borrow in to pay salaries what happened to their internal generation uh, uh, revenue from what all happened the to, the, mo, to the money that do you know that each of the states in nigeria has 24 percent allocation from the national the treasury mm. 24 percent allocation these are the and this money is extended to the workers that are working in all of these sectors now you mentioned that the official cast for the some of these governors is over 200 million 300 naira, over 300 million naira. just imagine that, that is that is without the maintenance without the maintenance all of, and, and all of that and it is excluding the allowances that will go to some of this some of these uh um state governors and that is why one of them could come out and say that he cannot afford to pay his four drivers hundred thousand four drivers so, you know the, the thing is that when it has to do with them it is always possible it is always possible. How can you tell me that in this economy that now they know that there is zero uh, uh, farming has gone down, people, so many things have been affected. They know about the economic hardship, and you're telling me that you know that 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 that, uh, that uh, uh, sixty-two thousand is even too much. They are joking, and they, all I can say is that uh, uh, Nigerians. I, I think it's hard time. It's high time we sit up. I, I think in a situation like this, there's something something can be done. On a very serious note, because um, 
these people are taking us for a ride. They are taking Nigeria for a ride. In the sense that nobody opposes them. Not nobody says anything. Sometimes they why the why the why the 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 voice certain things out they just for people for, for for our hearing sake or for the masses hearing they are not considered there is no uh you know feeling of how will these people react if not they shouldn't be saying this in a country where we have crude oil in a country that is blessed with that if check the list of oil producing nations how much they pay as minimum wage Right in a country where we have resources that is fetching money, and you are saying that sixty two thousand is even too high to pay workers. You see what I'm what I see that is playing out here is that with the way our rulers are making this thing go, they are creating a very wide gap between the rich and the poor. Mm. That's why you see that the the problem of the poor is out to hit. The problem of the rich is how to loot in billions. The problem of the rich in this country is not 10,000, it's not 100,000, it's not 1 million. Their problem is in billions, it's in trillions. And that's what you see them chasing after. Now, you see that most of the things that we buy, they, it is only the rich that can afford it. Mm. Do you notice? The poor will not be able to afford it. The poor just want to get the money that they can get to feed them living wage that's what they are looking for so hence it is creating a very wide gap between the rich and the poor before a, a poor man in this country can think about buying a land you have to work for many years and yes. that working for many years means that you have to suffer yourself for many years yes. because if you want to buy a plot of land, because i was doing my calculation over the weekend if you want to buy a plot of land in some places in lagos now you can't buy a land lesser than a millionaire in hmm. some places in Lagos, states, you have to have like millions, 10 million and above. Lesser than a the million poor, in Lagos. Hold on. The poor can never be able to afford it. Hmm. The poor can never be able to buy a car. If you're if you earning below 100,000 naira, you can't think of buying a car. All that you're thinking about is how to eat Feed and yourself. survive for the next day. A poor man can never think of, oh, I want to go on vacation abroad. Because the only thing you are thinking, ah, this money, let, let me just use it to ensure that I feed my family. Hence, there is a very wide gap between the rich and the poor in this country. So before you, you before you know it, you see that there's, it will get to a point in this country that there are certain things that the poor will never be able to achieve. Only the rich can achieve it. That's why you see George Akome, the Secretary General for the country. He say of the of the federation he's saying that he cannot afford to pay his drivers if they are to conclude then on the one hundred and five thousand dollars which was a misconception then that he will not be able to pay four of his drivers that means those drivers will remain poor they will be drivers all the rest of their life because mm. there's nothing their thirty thousand dollars that they are earning will be able to end them in this country except for if a miracle should happen so or you see or except they find the means to steal exactly because you can't tell me now you are you are even talking about uh, buying a car buying a land in nigeria we have a uh, means of uh, transportation the, the the road the water uh, uh the air can the poor access transportation the the, the the airways just interstates you know it's a problem that they they have they have uh, they, they've made so many things difficult for nigerians Things that Nigerians should be enjoying, we can't enjoy them. And we, we can help them to draw the conclusion. Sure. The conclusion is that they want to keep Nigerians poor. Poor. So that certain positions in this country can only be afforded by the rich. Hmm. Only those who are, in, who are looting in millions, looting in billions, looting in trillions, are the only one who can assess that position. And we, we are seeing say, that play We can now. say no to them. Yeah, of course. If Nigerians can rise up, their number it cannot be compared to the number of the masses. If Nigerians can rise up, they can be... They can, this thing can come to an end. But then let's let's wrap up on what NLC can do at this point. I mean, they've concluded on 62,000 naira. They said a, 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 an amount higher than 60,000 naira. That was what they said they are going to reach a conclusion on. A, an amount higher than 60,000 And it naira. was clear. So what adding 500 naira, point? Adding 500 naira to 60,000 is an amount higher than you know 60,000. And that is why NLC ought not to have ended that strike. Now, anyway, you are saying, you ask the question, what can the NLC do? And the NLC, the NLC cannot do anything. First of all, if they are going to embark in, on any other strike, I think there will be 15 days notice. And I tell you, if they should give a 15 days notice to the government, before that 15 days, they will come after them. Mm. Because they will not 
support or and allow them to em embark on that strike that's other strike where should i say it was a surprise it, it, they were not expecting it the government mm -hmm. were not expecting it and the number of sectors bodies that joined them immediately was something they could not control yeah. that is why they should have utilized that, that uh, opportunity was, as in they had they, the were, they, they had the people the leaders were on hot seats the national grid was shut down so many things the airways were shut down so many people opted to join them voluntarily they should have utilized and maximized that opportunity. Oh so for NSC to have called out that strike, they will have to accept. They might even, from what they are saying, now, they might they are even trying to reduce this the sixty two thousand. Because if they are saying sixty two thousand is not flying or is too much, that means they are considering bringing it down because they know they have weakened NLC. NLC cannot do anything. Well, wow, this is really, this is really, um, a, 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 I'm really feeling so upset for mm. what NLC has done. They should never have gone for that. Um, for they should never have called off that strike. Sincerely, they should never have gone. Both Nigerians and the leaders will not take NLC serious again. From what they have done, from what is, you know, I, I keep on saying that we talk about the uh, electricity tariff and uh, and the and the minimum wage. Nobody has mentioned in all this strike issue, all this meeting, nobody has mentioned the electricity tariff. Mm. What we are still hammering still on, on minimum, minimum wage. wage. I mean, that's how it will continue to be <laughs> in this country. No, I mean, uh, NLC, we, we, we trust, we put our trust in them so much than what we have in now. But then this is all that we can take for this segment. Let's quickly go on a commercial break. And when we get back, we'll continue the show. Mm -hmm. 